Right, hello. Um, we're going to talk about my Android TV box. This is the B368 Smart Android TV box. It's one of the best on the market at the moment, spec-wise. I've also got my Logitech KR... Uh, hold on, sir. K400R keyboard. Uh, you just plug it in and it works straight away. I... Uh, use this for easier use rather than use a mouse pointer on the uh, remote control which can be a bit slow. The remote control itself is pretty good, uh, it works really well but like I say if you're using the mouse pointer you, you're pressing up, you're just waiting for it to move so that's the reason why I use this but you can also use generic keyboards and mice um, usually the cheap um, wireless units work right as far as the box goes I won't really show you uh, the ports or anything I'll just tell you there's two normal USB slots USB 2 there's a micro SD card slot, there's the um, Ethernet port, there's the HDMI port and there's an on-the-go USB port and I think it's a SPDIF audio port. There's also a another port if you don't have HDMI to use this lead but I don't see the point to be honest. But uh, it's the it does your usual Netflix, YouTube, XBMC. It's supposed to do 4K, although there's not much 4K about at the moment. It's HDMI 2. Um, it's using the 4-core uh, RK3288 processor chip, which is 1.8 gigahertz. Now, you might notice that there is boxes out there with the 2 gigahertz quad core processor although it is a bit better the boxes that they're on are not and the reason for that is this box runs a uh, Mali 764 GPU and the cheaper boxes run the Mali 400 and the Mali 450 which is a lot worse spec wise I come from the world of building computers and I know if you haven't got a decent graphics card then your process is going to take some of the load. So basically in this scenario even though it's slightly less than the highest processor you can get it's still not much and because the graphics chip is much better than the, uh, the other ones the 400 and the 450 it's it's much it's a much better much more stable box i've actually used the what they call the m8 box or they also call it the ott box it's like a square black thing um the 8 gig version i find them quite slow and they're quite awkward to use and sometimes they just don't want to work after some time but this is what you want if you want a decent reliable Android box. Right, um, we're going to show you the uh, user interface. This is the home page. I mean, you can flick through the things really quick. That's with the remote, and that's straight click, 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 straight through them all. But uh, for the purpose of this, for speed, I'm going to use my uh, Logitech keyboard, and let's go into my recent apps. No recent apps, actually. I'm surprised. Um, where shall we go? Games. Um, I put a couple of games on there. Let's just load Angry Birds for instance. Right, I'm sure you're fully aware how Angry Birds work, so. I'm not really going to go into it, I'll just start one of the levels and then you can just see. Yeah, you know, usual angry bird, you get your bird. There you go, shoot your bird, job done. Right, so we'll go out with this. You To get your bottom bar back up, on the keyboard, if you've got a mouse, 
or even a mouse. You put your mouse pad down the bottom and the mouse goes down there. Hold your left mouse button. Get it right. Hold your left mouse button, drag it up. Usually it works. Yeah, there we go. And then you can go home or out of it. If you want to get rid of the bar, you can use that. But we're going, going to go out of it. So back home. Right, left enter media. Uh, let's do TV catch up. This is a free app. You can get this one on um, Play Store. I already had it playing as BBC3 there. Let's just change it quickly. BBC1. Oh, there's an advert. Right. Go back. There we go. If you want to go full screen, obviously full screen. You wait a second and then everything goes. So uh, let's try. There's also uh, this one view tally, which is quite handy. You can get the same sort of channels as the other one, but you get more on this one. You get other different markets. Uh, you got uh, American markets, a um, couple of better things on this one anyway. Right, there's also, I've got stuff like, where is it? Is it in this one? No, not that one. Apps, um, pools, game pools, TV guide. This is another free one. There you go, your British TV guide, as usual. Um, settings, let's go into settings so you can see the device um, details. Go down here. There we go, you got Android version 4.42, which is KitKat. Uh, well, this says model number RT3288, although that's the processor. Um, you've got your kernel of usual if you understand this you'll know what this is basically but the vendor software is uh, this one here I'm not sure about updating it to be honest but um, I expect um, it should be fine left as it is I mean if you want to mess about with it that's up to you um, another thing I will say about this box this box has got dual Wi-Fi so it's not just the 2.4 it's also the um, 5.0 Wi-Fi as well so you you've got a much stabler collect connection because you've got two lots of Wi-Fi on there um, as I mentioned before the graphics chip is a, one of the best on the market uh, the uh, quad core processor in this machine runs really well it's all smooth everything's pretty quick what I found with um, the cheaper boxes they they can be quite slow the remotes uh, work when they feel like it um, it's just a bit uh, well this one's better anyway I mean you've got your usual Android setup what I'll do now for you is I'll quickly shut down the system and then you can see how quickly that it um, boots back up right that's it off now so we we'll wait a second so we'll put it on in a second now right I'm pressing on now right that's on the lights come on whoops Right, there we go. Usual start up. It, it's not very slow to load up, to be honest. I mean, once it's up, it's it's good. I just wait a bit longer. What I will say though is when you're booting up this device after you boot it up I'd say leave it a minute before you actually start doing things because I think there's certain things in the background especially if you've got apps that contact the internet when the device is on etc. 
that are um, it causes it to run slow but as soon as you've waited that minute it's fine and it goes straight through a quick remote up and down not a problem let's go back into that yeah straight away so fast let's go back out a bit again let's try something else tools um, what have I got here file explorer just quickly load that see how quick it is just so fast back out again and um, let's see what else I got well not much in here to be honest I mean you, you file explorers usual um, let's try the ball crew oops wrong one not that right that's another app downloader right let's try that right um, no it's in that one is it yeah no there there we go games usually take as, as long as they take I mean something like this one connects online but even that is quite quite quick you know well there we go that's it I mean you make your decision on what box you buy but I'd recommend this one thanks for listening <coughs>